I can tell you my DJ nightmare for sure. It was at the MGM um, situation. So, yes, my, so, okay. I was set up for success, okay? Did everything correct. I had somebody who has been in the game forever help me out and set me up for success. He was there. Mm-hmm. I had my computer on top of like a, a cooler of ice. I had a AC unit right next to me blowing freezing yeah. cold air. Um, I had, you know, water, everything that I needed. Um, and yet my computer was still overheating. So he had made sure I was good and left. Right. He's like, call me if you need me. And I think this was like maybe the second time I DJed there. So still very new okay. and my computer just goes in and out, in and out music stopping. And the, the, the worst part about it is not only was I DJing for the people in the pool, but I was also on the intercom on intercoms for the people in the restrooms, oh. the, you know, <laughs> especially when you're out there DJing in the summer, it, it's like 115 degrees outside and equipment electronics don't work well in the heat so (laughs) that was a whole stress on its own was the computers over overheating and glitching and just all the stress (laughs) that oh that's the biggest dj nightmare you gotta get you one of one of these fans i'm actually i saw somebody on youtube that had one i'm like oh i gotta get this because yeah that happened to me a couple times this summer (laughs) everyone has those stories you know but i can tell you my dj nightmare for sure (laughs) It was at the MGM um, situation. So, yes. My, so, okay. I was set up for success. Okay. Did everything correct. I had somebody who has been in the game forever help me out and set me up for success. He was there. Mm-hmm. I had my computer on top of like a, a cooler of ice. I had a AC unit right next to me blowing freezing cold oh. air. Um, I had, you know, water, everything that I needed. Um, and yet my computer was still overheating. So he had made sure I was good and left, right? He's like, call me if you need me. And I think this was like maybe the second time I DJed there. So still very new. Okay. And my computer just goes in and out, in and out, music stopping. And the, the, the worst part about it is not only was I DJing for the people in the pool, but I was also on the intercom, on intercoms for the people in the restrooms, oh. it was the, you know, so the music's going in and out and I have this most obnoxious guy like doing backflips in the pool, splashing people. And he's like, boo, get a real DJ, boo. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I was seeing stars. Like I went into full like panic attack. Um, it was that, but also when you work out in the heat, you, you can't skip dinner. You have to eat a good balanced breakfast. You got to get good sleep. You got to stay hydrated. And these are things that I didn't prepare for. So I was went into like panic mode and I was like seeing stars. And I just remember I put on like a premix and I just like went to the restroom and I, I call it when I, t- when I tell the story, I call it my eight mile moment. Cause I turned yeah. something so bad into something that's actually inspiring. I was like, like Eminem dude around the, the toilet, just like gagging, like calling my, my mm-hmm. mentor and being like, please help me. I can't do this. I can't do this. He's like, you can do this. Just take a breath, you know? And he's like, I'm sending somebody over. And that's, what's so amazing about the DJ community is you, you build friends and they have your back and um, DJ Tito showed up and he was just like, Hey, go take a break. I got you. So he was spinning for about an hour while I got myself together. And I went back in there and did my thing. I just remember praying in the bathroom because I can hear the, the music. I was like, please don't oh. stop. No dead air, please. <laughs> and I was like, I'll never forget nightmares. that. <laughs> That's what nightmares are made of as a DJ. And I was like, because the yeah. worst thing that can happen is the music stops, right? Because absolutely. What are we there for? But the thing well, that people don't realize that when it comes to outdoor conditions, heat. Yes, it may happen, but that's not our fault. <laughs> you got to be patient. <laughs> yeah. We can't control that. Like that. That's you know. And yeah, that that is like the that's the biggest nightmare. But it's like you can't really you can't really control it because you can even. I've been under a tent and it's like still so hot, and the laptop starts slowing down. I'm like, no, it's like, yeah, yeah. Yep. And that's exactly what I was told too, is, um, you know, I can be really hard on myself, you know, and I just remember 
um, my agent telling me like, look, this happens to everybody, everybody, yeah. unless you're like Cascade or Marshmallow and you're like in those big events where they have like, they're on like ice bars pretty much. Yep. And they have the top of the line, everything, like it happens to everyone and it's expected actually. Like the managers know it, it happens to everybody. Um, but when it happens to you, it's like, oh God, help me. Yeah. Jesus 